In one of the first videos in our channel about the setter and the organization of the game, we explained how important the choice of attacking combination in volleyball actually is. When the setter calls the middle close to him, he tries mostly to open play for the outside hitter in position 4, for the pipe and for the middle himself. In this case, the reception is moved toward position 2. The setter calls the middle close. Because of the movement of the opponent's middle, this opens a huge gap for the pipe attack and it is perfectly used. In the next clip, the situation is similar, but that time the setter plays with the middle. The setter can also stretch play to position 4 because of the fact that it would be difficult for the opponent's middle to reach on time and organize a decent double block. With this type of call, pipe attack behind the back of the setter is also possible. When the setter calls the middle at a distance, the tactical idea is different. If the opponent's middle stays frontally opposite his colleague, he wouldn't be able to reach and join his teammate in order to organize a double block. In this case, position 2 should help, but not exactly the case in this clip. This call by the setter opens the play for his opposite, so most setters, when calling the middle at a distance, play with him or behind. During a seminar of the Bulgarian Volleyball Federation, led by the national team head coach Silvano Prandi, we asked the question which combination according to him is more effective, with a middle blocker close to the setter or with a middle at a distance. We have a question from one of the participants. Why does it not make a question for the top at the time of a positive and perfect meeting? Great question. Thank you for the question. We talk more in the first time close to the setter because it is the combinazione tra primo tempo vicino all'alzatore e pipe è la migliore situazione per uh, tutto, tutto il sistema di attacco. Posso anche dirvi che ci sono alcune squadre nel mondo che usano sempre solo il primo tempo vicino per il sistema, favorire il sistema di attacco. Uh, vi faccio un esempio perché siamo in Bulgaria, riguarda un allenatore bulgaro molto famoso. Dieci anni fa la squadra di Trento, che era allenata da Rado Stoicev e che uh, vinceva tanto, aveva sempre il primo tempo vicino e non usava mai il primo tempo. Questo anche perché la presenza di due attaccanti come... Kaczynski e Guantoregna valorizzava molto l'attacco pipe nel suo sistema. Comunque la domanda è giusta perché l'attacco in primo tempo 7 è un attacco importante.